What is going on everybody? We're doing a sweet install for Adelief Peak Adelief and uh, Timber and Bump Stuff. So let's get into the install. We just got our sweet new Harbor Freight Badlands Jack. So let's jack her up and I'll show you guys what we got in the box. All right, so this is what comes in the Adelief kit. You got your two bolts and then your Adelief's and they do come with your little anti-wear pads. Um, those are the Peak Adelief's, those are going on and then we got the timber and bump stops right there. We got those all set up. All you gotta do is put this bump stop on the top. First it goes like this. First it goes this guy, bolt, the top pit plate, and your bump stop right there. So I just wanna give leveled up a special thanks for hooking it up with a discount code to get these uh, timber and bump stops. Uh, they've supported me throughout my build and I really appreciate them. So definitely check them out. Um, I'll link their Instagram down in the description, their website and everything. Okay, so your first step is you're gonna make sure to crack your lug nuts. Make sure not to uh, loosen them all the way or your tire will fly off and your truck will fall on the ground. So that's the first step, crack your lug nuts here. And then your next step, you're gonna jack your truck up and make sure your axle is free. So preferably by the hitch and throwing your jack stands right on the frame in front of the tires. Okay, so once you get it jacked up and put your jack stands down, you want to make sure to pull your lug nuts off. Okay, so your next step is going to be lowering the vehicle onto the jack stands completely. And next step is going to be removing your lower shock bolt right here. I have the leveled up shock skid, so definitely check those guys out. I've hit them on many rocks a lot of times, so they've came in handy definitely. A little tip while you guys are removing your you bolts just jack up the truck make sure you have some tension on your leaf pack so it's not fully drooping out while you are removing your base plate u-bolt bolts right here okay so once you get those u-bolts undone you can let the shock hang as well just like this um, and then if you look right here these are the OEM bump stops super hard super rough if you definitely do bottom out you're gonna feel it okay so your next thing is you can use these C clamps if you really like. Um, I realize on the other side, it's not really needed. I mean, you can if you want, just a little safety precaution. Um, so yeah, you wanna put these C clamps on both sides like this. If you get lucky, you can probably uh, loosen the guide pin up like this, but in my case, I had to drop the axle and hold the guide pin with a channel locks or you can use the vice grips if you really want. So as you can see here, I dropped the rear axle down and I had my old man hold the guide pin on the bottom side while I loosen the top side. Also, if you see these brake lines being stretched out, um, yeah, be careful about that. Didn't realize that until I was editing the video. Uh, make sure your brake lines are never extended. Next thing you're gonna do is pull out that overload spring that has the secondary guide pin in there and knock it out with a punch. All right, so once you get the leaf spring pack undone, you want to punch out that hole like I just showed you, and then we're gonna somehow line all these up with this guide pin and then bolt it up and we'll be all good. Just make sure you remember how you put your little shims because um, they're all the different thickness that really do matter. So make sure you do that and make sure you put the short end over in the front. So the short end, you'll see the side's longer, that goes in the back, short end goes to the front. So yep, we're, we're hammering along. This is probably the hardest part of the job is getting that guide pin that Peak provides um, all lined up and to go through the hole on your leaf pack. Um, you just kind of got to wiggle around, probably knock it in with a little screwdriver as well. But eventually I do get it by slowly jacking up the truck while I feed that guide pin through all of my leaf packs here. 
just keep in tension on the leaf pack so the bolt goes in nice and easy and it doesn't fall through. There we go. Once I get it all knocked in, I eventually do use these C-clamps to compress the leaf pack all the way so I can start threading in that top nut for the leaf pack. If you don't have any of these C-clamps available at home, you can always just jack the truck all the way up and start that bolt on the top. So once you get the springs fully compressed, you want to drop the axle and start tightening that top nut right there on the guide pin like I'm doing like this and you're gonna have to grind that very top of that guide pin off to be able to fit your bump stops onto there. Also I'd highly recommend to uh, be careful about your gas tank because my father is clearly throwing sparks at the bottom of my gas tank just for safety measures be careful about that. Um, right here we are fully tightening your guide pin bolt on the top. I'm not really sure about the torque. Um, just a couple of ugga duggas and we call it good. Super tight. I eventually do tighten it up with a ratchet. Um, but once you get that, make sure you put your shim on. I forgot about my top shim right here. Um, my top shim is actually destroyed from the rough country block that I put on there. Just the shifting of my axles chewed up this aluminum shim. Um, so eventually I do have to beat that shim um, flat so my bump stop sits well and you want to line up your axle with that guide pin and you're pretty much set to go on your add a leaf. There we go. Shout out to Rough Country for making a real shitty lift block made out of plastic that destroyed my top shim right here. I am hammering down the aluminum shim because it is all torn up from the axle shifting from the shitty Rough Country lift block. Uh, make sure your timber and bump stop is set flush. Uh, timber and bump stop is super easy to install. If you're just doing the timber and bump stops, you just have to remove your U-bolts, um, put the bump stop together, do your U-bolts, and um, install everything how it came off before. Shout out Leveled Up. These guys are super dope for making these shock skids. They've came in handy so many times. Bash these bad boys on a bunch of rocks, even to like a dead stop. Rock straight to the skid plate of the shock. Stop the truck completely, but did not damage my shock. So shout out Leveled Up. Those guys have been super cool over there. Always respond to me. Super communicative and awesome dudes. So check them out. As it goes for the other side, just repeat the process and you're ready to rip. What's up guys? We're over here at the Hackamore side of uh, Bulldog Canyon and we're gonna test out these new timber and bump stops and peak Adelis in the rear. So we're gonna hit a couple of trails and I have the GoPro mounted up onto the leaf pack and bump stop. So here's some clips of it flexing out and doing its thing. Alright guys, I hope you like those clips that we got today. Flexing out that Adelie down here on the timber and bump stop. That thing is so nice. Uh, there's a couple of things that I did notice is down right here, my overload spring on the bottom moved a little bit. So I'm gonna have to unloosen the U-bolt and shift it over. But we are flexed out right here, guys. Look at that. 
got the mounds back here and the truck is all flexed. Um, so yeah, the setup is looking good. We got the timber and bump stops. We've used these a bunch today. Those are super nice. Um, like I said, I'm gonna have to push that out of the, or the, I'm gonna have to push that overload spring over a little bit. Um, but other than that, she's riding pretty good. When I go to torque the U-bolts, I'm gonna have to loosen it up and shift it over again. But that is the shot for the day. It's looking good. So for more install videos uh, on this channel, hopefully we're doing coilovers pretty soon. Um, and we got a Victory 4x4 skid plate coming in the mail. So stay tuned for those videos. We got a lot more adventures and everything going on on the channel. So if you want to support your boy, like, comment, subscribe, push that subscribe button, push the bell. I'd really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Take it easy. Love you guys. Bye. Woo! <laughs>